Hello and welcome along. Today we are going to take a look at the um, horses as part of a, a gameplay video. Um, we're down at the merchants here at the animal merchants. Uh, we've got the uh, in-game truck. Um, I can't remember the name of this, but uh, that is unimportant for this. Uh, and we've got the uh, big master Brockman trailer on the back here in a nice shade of uh, virtual farmer green. I think that's actually, these are a fence green but uh, that's all good um, and we're gonna go and we're gonna purchase a couple of horses so I can show you that process to get kickers off and we're gonna take them up to our horse um, paddock that we have got placed so let's get into our truck uh, and we are gonna purchase our horses there we go. So we got, we're done at the animal place. So we have, we have lots of pigs and a sheep and various options there for those. Uh, but what we're interested in, of course, is the horses. So the horses start at five thousand uh, dollars or pounds or euros or whatever you're using each. Uh, of course, we're using dollars because we're on uh, Ravenport, um, and you have a choice between grey, pinto, palom palomino, uh, chestnut, bay, black, seal, brown, or dun. Uh, so we're going to buy. Uh, what we're going to buy now is we're going to buy a pinto horse because uh, we don't have one of those and uh, I think we might buy a gray horse as well because I don't have one of those either so we already have four horses uh, this is uh, these are our next two so uh, let's confirm the purchase of those two and uh, what you see is if we take the cover off the back of our trailer here where well, you can see our two horses in our horse box so we will start up our car and we will head over to our Horse Ranch. Uh, now, there are various things you have to do with horses. Horses, uh, if we were trying to sell them back now, these horses would be worth a lot less than the five pounds that we, uh, five thousand dollars we paid for them. Uh, you basically, the way horses work is that you need to uh, care for them, train them, look after them, ride them, and uh, and over a period of about ten days, if you do that, if you can max everything out with the horses over a period of 10 days what you'll find is they will move from um, a uh, one star rating to a five star rating and it, then you basically you go and sell them at the five star rating uh, for a large amount of money it's about a fifty uh, thousand dollars you can uh, sell them for for a fully trained up horse so it's it's quite a, it's quite a great way to earn money if you did just did horses in FS19, you could earn 500,000 in 10 game days, uh, which is, you know, just doing 10 horses. But you have to ride each one. Uh, you have to ride each one every day for, I think it's an, I, I think it's 10 minutes in game, something like that. Uh, so of actual time for every horse. So, uh, you know, 10 horses, you're looking at uh, at 100 minutes worth of riding at the very least. And that's before you do anything else. So you can see our other horses there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to unload them here. But uh, we're going to open the gates first. There we are. And we are going to open our trailer up as well. So let's do that. Uh, there we go. So we're back down on the trailer, and then we're going to unload our horses. So we've got Vanity and Twister are our new stock horses. Flash, a Charlie, a Honey, and Harrison are our existing ones. So we'll take Vanity and Stock out, and uh, and confirm that. And you can now see that our trailer is empty. So what we need to do next is we need to make sure that our horses have. All of the things that we, uh, all of the things that they need, in order to um, to to grow, to 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 improve. So if we look at the animal screen, what we have in here is uh, you can see each of our horses and the conditions that they have. So when I say five star rating, I mean getting it up to a hundred percent. So at the moment, actually, out of uh, <laughs> it's it's really low. He's flashes at. at, at uh, they're all really, really not fit at all. Uh, we've got no water in the pen, no straw in the pen, uh, no oats and no hay. So we're going to sort all of that in a minute. Um, 
interesting thing in here is you can see the value of the horse here 2976 and we know we paid 5000 so yeah it's a long way to go before this horse is a a good sellable horse um now the pen information here relates to the pen that the horse is in so you can have up to 10 horse pens uh, and they can all have their own water straw oat and hay conditions so it's you need to if you've got more than one horse pen you're gonna have to keep an eye on on every paddock um so uh yeah so there we go that's that uh let's head over now we've got the vulture over here uh, and we've also got uh, this great thing, the Wazi. Um, this is a bale shredder for straw. Uh, we also have a pre-set up trailer here with straw bales and hay bales uh, and some uh, some horse food on. This it basically is just oats. So if you combine oats, if you harvest oats, you can use those to feed the horses as well. So we're going to get the equipment loaded up. And we have a, a water trailer up here. So we'll start with the water trailer. The water trailer has been filled with water. So let's hook that up and go and uh, give some water to our, cows, uh, to our horses. Sorry. Let's just close this gate first. There we go. I was talking to somebody the other night about um, uh, about farm sim and uh, about there not normally being openable gates and completely forgot about the gates for the horse. So it's good to see that. Uh, right, so we do have a full water trailer here, so that's good. The uh, Joskin that was introduced in FS17. Now, uh, that is feed. Water is round here. There we go. So we will empty this out. There we go. Fill that up. We will see how many they take. The horses have come, have come to take a drink almost immediately. So that's good. On a horse pen this size with this many horses, uh, we don't have a huge... They don't take a huge amount of water. Uh, that water should do them for six days, I believe. Uh, so we'll go and park this back up by our water tower. You can see uh, the things that I was talking about in yesterday's gameplay video. About the various levels of things. We could have placed this water tanker, uh, or this water fill point, a little bit lower. And not had such a steep gradient up to it. And it was a small error I made when placing it. And see, I've got to get some speed up now in order to get it up here. No, in fact, I can't. So I'm just going to drop that there. Uh, that will do for now. Right, and then we need to get the, the wazi uh, on here. We need to give them some uh, straw. So the easiest way for us to do that is to come up to this. And this is what I love about this new piece of equipment uh, for FS19. Is we connect up to that. And then if we come to the first bit and disconnect and back out. We have a pair of bale spikes built into this piece of kit. So not only is it a bale shredder, it's a bale shredder that comes with a set of bale spikes. Right, so now we're going to get uh, a straw bale. So the reason why I'm going for this job first is because obviously we can't get the... Uh, we currently can't get at... Those aren't still... No. Uh, we currently can't get at the uh, hay bale at the back. So going to do this first. Now we want to carefully place this in here. This does fit round bales a little bit better, but it will take uh, these uh, the square bales. And if I can get it positioned right. And reverse back a bit. There we go. And we can just reverse out. And that, that is, believe it or not, that bale is actually loaded in there. <laughs> that will shred that bale. Uh, absolutely fine. Right. And so what we want to do then is we need to... Actually, before we do this, so as you can probably guess, if we go and connect that up at the moment, we are going to topple over forwards quite bad. So we will get... 
our weight on the back of the tractor. We have got wheel weights on this. It's not quite enough to do this. There we go. Weight on the back. And round. I don't want to hit that trailer. That trailer is not in the best position for me. Right, there we go. There we go. Oh. I have connected up my wheel and my uh, uh, my wheel and the uh, s uh, the side panel, and uh, still getting used to it a little bit. So I am doing things like driving up the sides of uh, buildings like that. And you can see we're still a little bit front heavy, but not as bad as we would be had we uh, had we not put the weight on the back. And it's not a small weight that we've got on the back. Right, so let's go shred the bales. And then we can get to feeding the horses. Uh, which, you know, is going to be the oats and the hay. Right, so here we go. So we lift this up a bit. And we unload. And there you go. So you can see how this bit works. Uh, see that it, it throws out the straw like that. Uh, and it's, it is quite a useful piece of equipment, this. Uh, and it comes for telehandlers, and it also comes for skid steers. So there's three different versions available. Uh, hooking up really rather nicely. And this will take, uh, this pretty much will take the entire bale, I think. Would not surprise me. Uh, there we go. We're down to the last 600. So we'll have a look at this at this point after this, uh, how the pen is doing. There we go. Right. So if we have a look here in back in the animal pen, we can see that we've got almost full straw and uh, we have got full water. So that's fantastic. So we will go to the food next. Uh, to do that, we need to take our tractor back. Uh, and we're just gonna we're gonna drop the wazi off its bale spikes. As I said, useful piece of a kit. This uh, useful bit of kit. This bale shredder. All right, so we'll put this here, like so, and drop that off. There we are. So that is, there we are. That is that done. Uh, so now we're going to grab some hay off the trailer. Which is half of the feed. So th if you feed the horses hay, that is about 40% of, uh, it increases their, um, well, it helps them along by 40%, I think it said. Let's have a look. Uh, so, a horse's value is determined by its fitness, health, and cleanliness. They should be ridden every day, increase their fitness. Horses require straw for clean bedding and water and food to stay healthy. Periodically, they need to be brushed and clean. Feed them a mix of the following foods for best results. There you go. So, 60% oat, 40% hay. So, we are going to feed them a bale of hay. So we'll see if this shreds. I think this will. No, this may need to go into a feed mixer then, I think. So we can't feed them the hay at the moment. They do take hay. Uh, it doesn't seem to be taking it like this. Uh, so there is no bale. Uh, just let you know, there is no bale cutting uh, thing in here. So it looks like you need to get an animal feed trailer to do that. And then, whoop. We're going to drop this off the front and go and get our tines so that we can then do that. Right, and drop that off. Go and grab our tines and we will get some feed for them. So we do have we do have feed bags. I think the feed bags are just oats. So we will find that out in a moment. There we go. So 
So there's still, uh, for me, there are still few unknowns about the horses. Uh, in general, this is uh, this is how to do them. We're gonna I'm gonna go and show to finish off this video a great little area on Ravenport, which is where we are. Uh, that will help you to do your horses. I think we might take one of our new horses for that. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. In fact, in fact, where is our hay bale? I think our hay bale may have gone in, which is fantastic. So there we go. Let's have a look. Yes, our hay bale did in fact go in. So we drove away and the hay bale uh, went into the uh, thing. That's just fantastic. And there goes our feed as well. So that gives you an idea. <laughs> a thousand litres. So you need a lot of oats. Uh, for. So we got six horses. You need a lot of oats to get them feeding. Uh, and a lot of hay bales as well. So, you know, they're not... Uh, it's quite expensive if you don't... If you're not running the farm to do it. Um, which is not surprising considering what you get out of the horses at the end. So yeah, we we left that hay bale close enough for uh, the horses to uh, for that to go into the horses. So what we're going to do now is just turn this off, and we're going to go in here. So as you can see, everything on the horses is is pretty good at the moment. Uh, they don't need grooming. Uh, although we will approach one. I am going to pro probably try and ride Vanity, I think. So uh, let's head back to here. So you have to open the gates. And you can see as you walk up to a horse, uh, you get the option to ride. Uh, now it's coming up as one on mine, but that is actually uh, the same as vehicles. It is E. And there you go. You can see the different horses. So to trot, it's uh, press forward. It's your normal forward key. Uh, but you only have to press it. Right. And it'll go. And then you, can, you see you can walk. So you can walk. You can uh, trot. I think that's trot. Yep. Uh, canter. Gallop, and then you uh, slow down from there. At any of these speeds, you can jump. So, if I go fast and jump, like so. So that is that is the basics of horse riding. What we are going to do is we're going to head down here and head to here. Now, the reason why I set up my ranch where I did was because down here and in here there is a show jumping arena. So if we head through here, whoop. they do tend to jump on top of the fences if you get too close. So we'll make sure we go through. And here you go. So we've got our show jumping arena. We are going to gallop our way around this the wrong way, as it appears. Way. <laughs> so not as easy to control as you might initially suspect. And they don't turn very quickly. They they are not the easiest things to turn, as you can see. Right there we go. But we're gonna go round this once. Oh, we missed one. So how quite how you go round this at a full gallop? I don't know. That's base the basics of horse riding, really. Um, I'm quite happy with this. This is pretty good. Uh, but there we go. As we finish off with vanity. And that's it. That is the basics of horse riding in FS17. Uh, I That is pretty good. Uh, we are going to... I'm uh, just going to have a look. You can see that it hasn't approved much. We have not been right. Oh, actually, no vanity. Uh, vanity... Uh, is actually just needs uh, a bit of uh, TLC, but uh, it's all good. We are uh, so that is the basic of horse riding, um, riding and looking after and grooming. Um, I think yeah, vanity is not ready to be um, groomed or anything. So that 
the, there are parts of it like that you need to do as well. But look after your horses and they can be worth about 50000 when you sell them. Um, but that is uh, it for today. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.